5G struggle. The fifth generation telecommunications network, or 5G, is one of the technologies that will drive the digitization of societies and economies, as well as economic growth. The implementation of the 5G network will lead to a significant qualitative and leaf change in terms of connection capacity, reduction of delays, and an increase in the number of devices supported. The fifth generation network is expected to increase data transmission capacity a hundred times and be able to connect up to a hundred times more devices in the Internet of Things. The potential associated with this technology is huge, as it will affect virtually all spheres of economic activity. A stock market analysis, autonomous vehicles, smart grid, smart home, intermachine communication, and even the entertainment industry. From the very beginning, Chinese companies, Huawei and ZTE, have been among the world leaders in this sector. It is estimated that Huawei has the largest number of patents in the field of 5G technology, over 13,000, ahead of Qualcomm and Samsung. The available estimates also indicate that the company has the most patents granted under the so-called patent families, at 3,000. The Chinese telecommunications giant is also making a major contribution to standard setting. The company's strength from Shenzhen is also its end-to-end -end offering, that is the ability to provide everything from infrastructure all the way to end devices. Along with the intensification of competition with China, the Trump administration has taken steps to persuade European governments to exclude Huawei and ZTE from the process of implementing 5G technology in Europe on charges of espionage for the Chinese Communist Party. As a result of the campaign, a number of declarations on the new technology were signed, mainly with the countries of Central and Eastern Europe, and joint declarations regarding the Clean Network Initiative were adopted. The actual exclusion took place in Great Britain, Sweden, and France. The company's future in other countries is also at stake. On May 15, 2019, the U.S. Department of Commerce, based on a motion by Donald Trump, banned the sale of goods and services to Huawei and its related companies to the entity list. At the same time, the American authorities left the door open by introducing a 90-day temporary general license allowing for the maintenance of economic contacts. The Department of Commerce has allowed the license to be renewed multiple times since the sanctions were introduced, but the last one expired on August 13, 2020. In May and August of 2020, the penalties against Huawei were tightened by preventing the sale of products not only to American companies, but also to all companies using American software and hardware. The Trump administration's decision turned out to be extremely serious for the Chinese telecommunications giant, and in the long term, it has a chance to effectively limit its foreign expansion. At the same time, however, it can count on the Chinese market as the authorities in Beijing are striving to introduce 5G technology as quickly as possible throughout the country. By the end of November 2020, 700,000 5G base stations were installed in China, which allowed the connection of over 180 million end devices in a new technological standard. The COVID-19 pandemic not only did not slow down the process of modernizing the telecommunications infrastructure, but the achieved result exceeded expectations from the beginning of the year by a number of over 200,000 stations. However, this is only the initial phase of the five-year long march to dominance in the telecommunications sector. In 2021, the construction of an additional million base stations is planned, and by 2025, their number is expected to reach almost 5 million. The Chinese technology industry is not without its problems, but the distance that China has caught up with the West can undoubtedly be called a great leap forward. The Chinese, using a range of tools in the form of technological espionage, staff educated in the West, but also their own innovation and determination, scrupulously implement the vision of Deng Xiaoping from 40 years ago. And most of that time, they could do so without being disturbed by the US and even with Washington's blessing. Now, the situation is completely different. <laughs>